Hey everyone, and welcome to a seated low impact cardio workout. I am so excited to go through this one with you today, and we're just gonna start off with something to warm up our bodies. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into some shoulder shrugs. Up to your ears, and then down to the ground. You'll notice I have some tape on, and I'm trying to mark the affected side so you guys know kind of how to follow. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move into our first exercise, which is cross body punches. This is one of my favorite exercises. So staying sitting down, you're gonna put your fist up in the air and you're gonna punch across your body. Very nice. Now you may notice I'm not punching as hard with my affected hand, right? If you don't have all of that same movement, it's totally fine. There's no worries there. The goal with this workout is not to get a perfect movement or close to perfect movement. The goal is to just get moving. A new study that was published in 2022 found that a modified cardiac rehab program with stroke survivors improved their cardiac endurance by 78%, which is a lot. So it also improved speech and cognition, as well as independence with functional stuff, day-to-day -day stuff. Let's go ahead and move into our second exercise, which is gonna be seated high knees. So you can put your hands on your legs if you want, or on the chair, and you're gonna try to bring those knees up as high as you can get them. If you feel like you can move a little faster, that's fine too. If you're looking for more of a challenge with this exercise, you can try to put your hands up and raise your knees all the way up to your hands, or you can try to make them go faster, right? Because this is about cardio, getting our heart pumping. However, if that is still too hard for you, and you're just working on trying to gently lift up those feet off of the ground, you're still gonna get a good cardio workout just with that movement. So don't beat yourself up, beat yourself up if you're not getting that level of movement. All right, we are moving on to the next exercise, which is gonna be seated side steps. So just like what it sounds like, we're taking a step out to the side and back, affected side out to the side and back. Again, I just wanna reiterate, if you're not getting the same level of movement with your affected side, that is fine. The goal with this workout is to move. Just get moving. Get that heart pumping. Cardio is such an important piece of the recovery journey, but I think sometimes we forget about it because we're so concentrated on movement, strength, try and for good reason, you know, we're wanting to get movement back, but cardio can help us do that too. So we'll try not to forget about it. Okay, we're moving on to exercise number four, which is half jacks. If you guys have ever done a jumping jack, this is a take on that. So we're gonna focus on one half at a time. So for this um, set, I'm gonna focus on the unaffected side. So half jack, arm and leg are both coming out to the side and back in like you're doing a jumping jack, but we're stabilizing with unaffected side if that's possible for you. If you feel a little off balance with this one, make sure that you've got someone there with you who is able to help you balance a little bit better. As always, with any of these exercises, please do not push through any pain. The goal is that you are not trying to create any new injuries. We're trying to get better and feel better. And we're trying to do that without pain. All right, last one in this set, we are going into chair running. Now, this one is probably one of the hardest. So I'm gonna show you, but I'll also show some modifications. So what I'd say is if you can lean back in your chair, try to lift your legs up and you're gonna look like you're running or almost like you're bicycling but without the pedals. Now this one is really hard. 
If you can only do one leg at a time, that's totally fine. If you're able to do both legs, that's fine. Again, if you're not getting that same level of movement on your affected side, don't worry about it. If it's too hard, like I said, you can do one at a time. You can even alternate. So you can try to do one leg and it's basically you're, you're gonna look like you're trying to pedal a bicycle or like you're running, your foot's kind of gonna go around in a circle. Go ahead and take a rest. My heart is pumping a little bit. So what we're gonna do here is just take a couple nice big deep breaths in through our nose and blow out through our mouth. Calming our bodies down because we're going right into the next set. We get a little bit of a break here with the crossbody punches. So we're going back into that first exercise, punching across your body. Again, if you're not getting perfect movement on your affected side, don't you worry about it. If it's only coming out a little bit or you notice that you're trying to hike that shoulder in response to trying to get movement, that's okay. Don't worry about correcting that to get perfect movement right now. There are plenty of other exercises and workouts that I have created that you can focus on more of that movement. This one is just to work on that cardio, that aerobic endurance, which is so important and often so forgotten. So what I want you to focus on too is as you're going through this workout to make sure that you are not holding your breath. Deep breath in and out as we're working through this. Rest here. We are gonna go into seated high knees. So this one, just to refresh you, bringing up your knees as high as you possibly can. Very nice. Now again, if affected side is lagging behind and you get a lot more movement on your unaffected side, no problem. We're just getting moving. But if you are up for more of a challenge and you have more movement on both sides, put your hand up. Or if you have the movement in your affected side, hand up. Try to bring your knee up to your hands. Really push those knees up high. You're doing great. Keep it going. Something to consider, you may wanna keep on your AFO if you wear one, ankle foot orthoses, going through these exercises because again it's not about getting that movement back it's just about moving rest here for a moment we're going into seated side steps so we are going one side out to the side this is unaffected side back in affected side out and in as best as you can now if this is too hard you can just do one at a time let's say maybe we're focusing on affected side You'll notice I'm not showing a lot of movement. Again, totally fine. Whatever you got, use it. Or you can do a couple and then alternate back over. This can be modified in any way to meet you where you are. You don't have to do it exactly the way that I'm doing it because there are so many different people watching these videos who are coming at various different levels. So I want you to be able to modify this to meet you where you are. All right, we are now going into half jacks, but this time I'm gonna show you affected side. So foot comes out to the side, arm comes up. Now yours may only look like this. Guess what? That's fine. We're just getting moving, right? You may not be able to lift your arm up that high. No worries. We are just moving. Very nice. Good, keep it going. Now, if your affected side starts to tire out too much, you can take a break, switch over to the other side. I don't want you to completely stop unless you really feel like you need to stop and catch your breath or get some water. Um, because the goal with a cardio workout is to get your heart pumping. So if you just need to stop and take a break, and go to the other side. 
that's totally fine. All right, we have made it to the last exercise, which is chair running. So I'm gonna come back in my chair. This one really engages your abs as well. And you're gonna try to push, 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 almost like you're riding a bicycle or running in midair. Now again, this is a really hard one. So if you need to modify it, one leg at a time, or you, you can even do it with your affected side, even if it's not perfect. You're raising up and then trying to kick your lower leg out, going into a circle. Whatever is working for you. You may notice that some of your hip flexors are getting tight and tired with this, so if that happens, switch over to the other side. Again, all of this is modifiable to meet you exactly where you are. Okay, guess what? It's time to rest. <laughs> Very nice job. I wanna go ahead and just take a couple calming breaths with you as we cool down from the cardio workout that we just did. So let's breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth. Let's do that again, in through your nose, out through your mouth. And if you need to continue taking some of those deep breaths to lower your heart rate, please continue to do so. All right, everyone, that is it for today. As always, I'm gonna be leaving a link down in the description below if you would like to sign up for the email list which gets you free stroke recovery tips and motivational emails, as well as a copy of my free ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. And if you find value in what we do here at Post Stroke and you're able, please consider donating either via our PayPal for a one-time donation or via our Patreon by becoming a Patreon member. In return for a monthly donation, you get access to cool monthly perks. One of those perks is a YouTube shout out for our Empowerer tier. So I am shouting out Doug C today. Thank you so much for helping to support what we do here at Post Stroke. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.